Global sequence alignment seeks the similarity between the two strings throughout limb. It means that in the global sequence alignment, we have to see the alignment between the two strings from one end to the other end globally. So this is possible only when the two uh, protein sequences that are very similar to each other. And that is only possible if they are very similar to each other. So these uh, proteins, they might be uh, different from each other. And in this case, the global sequence alignment score will be very less. So if we want to uh, attain the high uh, score for the two sequences for the proteins, the condition is that these two proteins should be very similar to each other. So these type of proteins that are, these are present within the wide range of organisms that are similar to each other and it ranges from humans to the fruit flies. And we can find the similar proteins in very diverse organisms. Sometimes it happens that the two proteins that are considered for the global sequence alignment, their score is less as compared to the subsequences that are present within these proteins. If we consider two proteins V and W, it is possible that the subsequence that are present within these two proteins that have the much higher score as compared to the score that is present from one end to the other end of the proteins. So, the example of this sub uh, sequence is we can consider the example of homeo box genes. And these homeo box genes, they are involved in the embryonic development. And these genes are present in the wide range of organisms. But these uh, homeo genes, they are different in various organisms. And the difference is that this homeo gene contains a specific domain that is called as homeo domain that is conserved throughout the protein that are present in various organisms. But the location of this homeo domain is not conserved within these proteins. In some proteins, this homeo domain is present in the initial part or in the start of the protein. And in some proteins, in other organisms, it is present at the end of the proteins. And uh, so on, uh, its location is not conserved. So the problem is how to find the conserved area of this homeo domain and ignore the less similar parts of the other uh, part of the proteins. So this problem was solved by the two scientists, Temple Smith and the Michael Waterman, and they have proposed the modified uh, version of the global sequence alignment dynamic programming algorithm, that is the local alignment uh, program. So here is the example of local sequence alignment. Now we can see here we have two gene sequences that is present in two different organisms and we can uh, consider it as also as a heterotical uh, genes. One is V and the other is W. In the first gene we can see in red is the nucleotides that is conserved in this hypothetical gene. And the same domain that is present in the other gene is present at the end of the of this gene. So we can see the sequence of this domain is C A G T C T G T C A G and this domain is identical in other gene that is present at the end of the gene. So the conserved sequence that is present in the start of this gene and the end of this gene is this conserved domain. So if we consider the global sequence alignment as we are seeing in this case, 
we can see that these two domains they are very far away from each other and the scoring matrix that we have used they cannot align these two domains because in the global sequence alignment we have to consider these proteins starting from nucleotide 1 up till the end of the gene but if we align these two domains that are conserved in these two genes then the, we can see that the scoring matrix for these two aligned genes will be higher as compared to the global sequence of the these two genes so for this purpose we have to align these and slide these two genes so that these two domains should align with each other and we can see that these are aligned with each other and the score will be much higher as compared to the uh, score that is we have we are considering for the global sequence alignment so in this case we will consider only this part of the uh, gene that is the conserved domain and because we are only considering the small part of the conserved domain so this sequence will be called as local sequence alignment so this is the graphical representation of this local sequence alignment and we can see here that the conserved domains are identical and the cover the only one third of the entire length of the n gene so the path from source to the sink will include approximately 2 3 by n and that is the horizontal edges and the one third n will be the diagonal edges matches to corresponding to homeo domain and the 2 3 by n is the vertical edges so in this graphic representation and the we can see that this gray line is showing the global sequence alignment and it starts from source and it ends up to the sink and we consider the whole sequence of the two genes from starting to the end point and we can see only the diagonal positions they are aligned between the two genes these diagonal positions are matches between the two genes but the vertical and the horizontal lines they do not have the matches they are the either mismatches or the indels but in the case of the local sequence alignment that is represented by this we can see it is all single diagonal line it means that all the nucleotides that are present from this position up to this position and from this position to this position they are totally matches with each other so there is no penalty in this local alignment and all the nucleotides they are matches and they will award it with plus one score for all of these matches so we can see very easily that the total score for the global alignment will be much less as compared to the local alignment score